So for a long time, beer in Greece was really cornered by the big brewers of Europe. And there really was nothing at all outside those big brewers. But for a few years now, there's been a little bit of a craft beer boom in Greece. And in this video, we're going to go check out some of those places. Here we go, brews and food in Athens, Greece. Athena's Cook is a fantastic restaurant located not too far from Syntagma Square and boasts a great menu with local fare and local craft beer. The large Greek craft beer menu is mostly bottled, but they do have a few on tap, including a pale ale from Athens City's own Noctua Brewery. Head Twister by Noctua has a nice biscuity citrus smell, which comes through in its taste, along with an added hint of pine and floral hops. It's a real nice beer to have with your meal. Speaking of which, I ordered the lamb shake, which was braised and cooked slow till it was nice and tender. I mean, look at this. All I had to do was drag my fork across and the meat just fell apart. This delicious, tender lamb shank coupled with an easily drinkable pale ale made this a fantastic start to my day. But I needed one more beer before heading out to the next place. No unique name needed for this down-to-earth IPA by Fleros. A strong, crisp citrus flavor with a, just a tiny bit of grapefruit up front and then completely filled with hop flavor in the back. I finished this IPA real quick and then it was off to the next place. Our next stop is a quick six minute walk from Athena's Cook and is a must for any craft beer enthusiast visiting Athens, Greece. Look at this. Even the sinks in here are kegs. I'm sensing a theme. Barley Cargo is a bar with a massive selection of beer, both craft and international. They even boast at any time they could have more than 500 beers on hand. But we're going to focus on their always changing and rotating Greek craft beers on tap. Beer number one of my sampler was an unfiltered lager from Karma, which is a brewery on the island of Crete. This lager had great multi aroma and flavor with a nice, almost Pilsner-like hop bitterness at the end. Really easy to drink and ended up being my favorite out of the four beers in my sampler. I liked it so much that I actually ordered a full pint after finishing the sampler which, as you will find out later in this video, might not have been my best idea. I seem to have forgotten something important, pacing myself. Septum Microbrewery's Sunday Honey Golden Ale was just as the name implies, a powerful taste of honey up front and throughout. There was a little bit of hop flavor at the end, but this is all about the honey. If you have a sweet tooth or maybe enjoy mead, you will probably enjoy this beer. Strange Brew sounds like the perfect name for a brewery that comes out with a beer like Lemon Farm. Just the idea of lemons in beer seemed bizarre to me. It smells almost exclusively of lemongrass and sourness. And taste-wise, while this was not something I would look for normally in a beer, it was strangely refreshing. It had a nice lemony and dry taste, with a hint of fruity bitterness. 
another Noctua Brewery beer, and this one is their Insomnia IPA. This one smelled of hops, pine, grass, and malts. As far as taste, it had a decent amount of hop bitterness, but I would say much more underplayed than what is popular in America right now. Surprisingly, it actually had a very noticeable bit of maltiness to it, which gave it a sweet ending taste, which is not something I would normally say for an IPA, but while surprising, it was a really nice drink. My third and final stop of the day was just a seven minute walk from Barley Cargo, beer time. So if you're keeping track, all these places are pretty close together. So I should have paced myself. I didn't, which will become very obvious soon. Beer Time is another brew pub which is all about celebrating Greek craft beer and international beer. They have several beers that come with a Beer Time label, but come from different breweries. I don't know if this means Beer Time has an agreement with these breweries, or if there is another reason but get yourself a half a meter beer sampler and try them all. The Beer Time Dark Lager from Zeos Brewing gave me my dark beer fix I desperately needed. With a chocolate and malt smell, this dark lager was smooth to drink and had roasted malt flavor that coated my mouth and some dark chocolate at the end. Next was Corfu Special Ale. A red ale with cracker, fruit, and sweet taste. Pretty solid overall. Sweetness was actually very common in a lot of the craft beer in Greece. Maybe it's something to do with the wine and honey culture of Greece impacting their beers. Then we have Beer Time Blonde Lager. A nice golden color with a lot of fizz and a crisp finish. Not to mention, yep, you guessed it, some sweet notes. What the hell am I doing here? Chewing? It's a liquid, you drunk fool. There's nothing to chew on. How about another from Zeos Brewing with their Zeos Pilsner? This was all maltiness and bready flavors. A nice, easy, drinkable summertime beer. And I keep talking to the camera despite not wearing a mic. Probably time for some food. Nothing better to fight drunkenness with than a brick oven margarita pizza. Thin, delicious, crispy crust, gooey melted mozzarella cheese. I inhaled this whole pizza very quickly. I'm sure the alcohol played a part in this, but don't get me wrong, this was a fantastic pizza. I recommend going to this place just for the pizza alone. Beer Time Pale Ale, to be honest, wasn't anything special light citrus, and practically no hops. Finished it, but was the least memorable beer I had. Wish I could say more, but there was just nothing to it. Beer Time IPA, on the other hand, was memorable, but... Not for good reasons. It was wrong. They did it wrong. Sour smell, sour taste. What was this beer? No hops, just sourness. Why? It was just... Ugh. So Drunk Me forgot to film an ending to this video. Instead, Drunk Dalton went back to the hostel and filmed himself poorly singing an Irish Gaelic song. I don't know why. So I guess I'll just say that I hope you liked this video, and if you know of any other great craft beer places in Athens, let me know in the comments below. And I guess I will leave you with this. Oh, <laughs>